Argos, first of three in a row for the Bombers prior to their Labor Day doubleheader against Saskatchewan. Dominic Dorsey to hand off across midfield, and he pushes the pile and ends up with a gain of close to nine. Running hard tonight, Dominic Dorsey, and if if there's if you were going to measure the cardiovascular shape of, of these players, Dominic Dorsey would be right at the top of the list. And there's a guy who has to be in tremendous shape to play on all those teams and carry the ball as much as he does. Flags are flying everywhere at the moment. Legal substitution, Toronto, 13 men in the formation. Second so down repeated. So they'll walk it back. Rich Stubler obviously upset. Once the officials put their arms up in the air, you can no longer substitute. Looked like they tried to get a player on late and get Dorsey off, and it was too late. But second and 12 the bombers with the three-man rush drop nine joseph can't find anybody and he'll take off Lobinov trying to track him down and does but Gary joseph gets to the first down stick a big run for joseph it's been quite a showdown between Kerry joseph when he's tried to run up the middle and joe Lobendon. And Lopendon's done a nice job of shutting that down, especially down in the red zone, down when he's backed up inside the 10-yard line. This time, Kerry Joseph sees him again and has to bounce outside. Lopendon does make contact, but a little second effort gets Toronto the first down. Yeah, that contact came a couple of yards short of the first down stick, but Joseph's strength and momentum right there gets him the first down. And at the 40, he has five. Kerry Joseph has shown many times that he has the arm strength to make that throw to the outside. That was a flick of the wrist. It's about a 45-yard throw, a flick of the wrist from Kerry Joseph, and two, right out there to Tyler Scott, yeah. Two catches for Scott, who had six for 89 in the last home game. And was the first to admit he never expected to make the team. But Gary Joseph has made him a valuable weapon at the wideout spot. Second and five. Crosser goes Robinson. Oh, Satoot dropped the ball. Obed Satoot dropped it. And the top rookie for the Argos last year has had a tough start to 2008. You know, Kerry Joseph has used a lot of his different targets. You're talking about Tyler Scott. We've seen Andre Talbot make some catches. That was a drop by Satu, but Kerry Joseph is a guy who, who, you know, any quarterback will tell you, if you start leaning on one receiver too much, what happens when in a key situation the defense takes that one receiver away? You Sooner or later, you have to spread it around. Vanderjet. From 48 yards out, Pickett puts it down. Vanderjet oh. didn't hit that one. That one was ugly. And Fred Reed bringing it out. Up close to the 25. Well, Mike Vanderjet had been spot on until that, but something went seriously wrong on that attempt. Well, let's take a look at the hold and see if that was the problem. Ball straight up and down, exactly like he likes it. No, the hold was perfect. First four were 300 yards down the middle, but that one was a little duck hook. Yeah, he looked like he just just took, sort of took a big, long stride towards it, not his normal stroke, and that wasn't pretty. Brian did what he's got to get something going. And he looks long. He looks to Robbie. Brian, and has him, and he is gone. to Robbie Bryant. 
And that is the longest play of the year for the Bombers. And that just goes right on to the average for Romby Bryant, who is among the stars in this Canadian Football League. Romby Bryant, another deep ball, leads the team in yardage, gets in behind Kenny Wheaton, and not just by a step or two. That's four or five yards behind him. There were two seams, and Alonda Steinhauer cheated over to the wide side.